All right, guys, so today I'm going to be showing you kind of what I have in my home emergency kit that happens to mainly fit in here except the food. But then I put it in the closet next to the front door, uh, and that is for a reason. Um, if it was such an emergency that your house collapsed, or you couldn't get into it, it was unsafe, this is close to the door where you wouldn't have to dig so much for it. A lot of people actually put their emergency, emergency kits out in the shed. I'm not really quite ready for that because rodents or other animals can get to it, but um, I figured the closet's close enough. Very first thing you need is water. Make sure you have plenty of it. I have a lot more than this, but I just brought three out. I also have a little filtration system here in case um, I run out of water. Uh, a couple other things here we have is so this is a lot of camping equipment, but there's some matches. If I close it, it's waterproof. Um, the other important thing is fire. Um, obviously, easy way to start fire there. If that doesn't work, I can start fire and I, I'm able to make little... Um, sparks with this and I wouldn't if you buy one of these little little things fire starters I would practice first because it is difficult a couple of ideas that I've gotten is to use actually lint from your dryer I mean I only have a little bit here but you know once you start fire I mean, you're not gonna let it go out so lint catches on fire really quick okay another option if you want to really go um, pro is uh this is a magnifying glass and just hopefully there's sun and you can start a fire that way you know you tried it when you were a kid i didn't okay i did i also have some fireproof i'm sorry waterproof matches that are good to have just in case this is some headgear that you know you can put on your head you can flash it this way i guess to get attention the other way um, which is good oops and then I also have these guys right here okay it's a little much I know but um, they're actually light switches on and off okay they actually work pretty well but you need batteries for those okay speaking of batteries make sure you have plenty of batteries of different sizes uh, for all your needs better yet so you don't need batteries here's some fl a flashlight that uh is solar so you can use different aspects of it um and it works really well okay emergency this little guy right here i i should be in the car but i like it because it is a flashlight um has emergency and an alarm sorry i freaked out my dog oops how do I turn this off? Having uh, portable chargers is good. Okay, so, oh, um, a big tarp. This is, I believe, an eight by 10 tarp. This is gonna be good to cover yourself and your family up in case, you know, you're stuck outside. Get emergency blankets. We got ponchos. Uh, the one back there is a big one that I just happen to have extra. Lots of batteries from Costco. Medicine, um, hydrogen peroxide and alcohol are good to have. If you have any medication or vitamins and things like that, Advil is never a bad thing to have uh, or some sort of painkiller. Um, of course, you know, small bandages, things like that. Uh, the one-way barrier in case you have to do CPR, bandages. Uh, Vaseline is good because um, it's actually good to start fire. If you can't start it, um, I guess you can get a cotton swab put Vaseline on it and it'll light up real good and if you'll mix again <laughs> don't forget your vapuru because it cures everything all right just a lot of um dressings and things like that uh antiseptic here we got duct tape other kinds of tapes some um yarn or string that you should have because you never know extra glasses emergency numbers um gloves so i got two kind of gloves here i've got you know your uh vinyl or latex glove but you should also have a nice sturdy pair like these leather ones because you never know what you have, you're gonna have to pick up 
eye protection. I got some nails. Um, these are like zip ties. They're really good to have. Uh, I got a couple sizes there. Always have markers or pen or pencil, something to write with because you never know also. Glow sticks, um, you know, for so you can see at night. You can wrap one of those around a gallon of your water and get a lot more light out of it. Here's a multi-purpose tool. You opened it up so you got a lot of little different things. Or you can have your traditional ones. Always have scissors because, or a knife, I guess. Okay, this next section is more personal care. You know, your toothbrush, your toothpaste, sunscreen, deodorant, soaps. All of these little shampoos or um, soaps are from uh, hotels I go to. Uh, pads. Pads are actually good. Um, not, I mean, in case you cut yourself and you don't have any kind of uh, wound dressing, those would work just fine. You got wipes. Remember something, uh, cloth that's red, it could be a blanket, it could be in, to keep you warm and also to draw attention to yourself in case you need to flag some people down. Um, I've got some water bottles. That's in case someone needs to travel, they can carry water with them. I have paper and plastic uh, plates and cups. I wouldn't, I'm going to switch those out for some sturdier ones that I can reuse because those won't last very long. Maybe something like this. Okay, these... Um, you know, you can cook with these. I got this bigger one here that you can cook on. Um, so, and you can use them. It's a multi-purpose. That's the, the point. You got, you need some knives some silverware. Um, this one I actually have in my kitchen. I don't have it in the emergency kit. I have this little tiny one. And hopefully, if I have to, I'll figure out how to use it. But it does this trick. It's a lot smaller. A bunch of extra baggies, hand sanitizers, um, hand, hand sanitizer sturdy shoes for everyone in the family i would even say an extra pair of clothes or a sweater or jacket or something to keep you warm and uh because you might be out in the elements for a while okay the final section is like the food section um you know you need your essentials you know for cooking of course right uh, if you're gonna cook at least you know you got your oil your salt i would definitely say try to avoid cooking but in case you have to here we have dried like nuts peanut butter is great to have in there because it lasts a long time and it's uh, it'll fill you up if you're going to use pastas i would highly recommend like the mini um or the angel hair you know like these fideos i would probably use uh, versus this one because it'll cook a lot faster or require less water but if you can, try to avoid cooking and get pre-made things like uh, these guys. They even come with a spoon in them. Um, again, more seeds, some bars, top ramen, hey. These guys, uh, if you notice, expiration date, a long time ago. So one of the important things is to make sure that you rotate your food. Um, be better about it than I am, but that's something I'm working on. Um, Okay, here we have some oatmeal, one minute, the quick one. Um, that also lasts a long time and it's filling and it's good for you and all that good stuff. <laughs> you can't forget chocolate and chile. Do not forget your chiles if you like spicy food. Uh, if you have pets, make sure that you have pet, uh, pet food. Um, always have either a picture, some kind of comfort item, you know, um, toys for kids if you have small kids have a notebook there that you know in case you need to write some notes down but um, obviously that will not all fit in there so I usually keep the batteries and things like that um, anything that's not food in there and the rest I have them in these boxes here okay and I've actually uh, taped like the can opener inside so it doesn't get lost and I also have the emergency numbers written in the inside of of these boxes right here okay so anyway um, I would highly recommend you start putting yours together um, hopefully we never ever have to use it but if you do you know that you are ready to go and I have a lot more food in those boxes I just did not uh, take it all out remember you can and you will survive a hard situation